to start, so this is perfect. Dave, I quickly introduce you. David, David Britton uh, from CEO of PST Sensors, and yeah, he will tell us about Beyond Printing Thermistors. David, the stage is yours. Everything looks good. Okay, thank you. Just keep me up so that I stay on time. I try. Uh, you try. Okay, yeah. So yeah, but uh, thank you, Christoph. The title, as you said, is Beyond Printing Thermistors. And I am CTO of PST Census in South Africa and CEO of PST Census Europe Limited in the UK. And a little bit of background. In 2002, there were two physics professors in UCT at the University of Cape Town who didn't know that you couldn't print silicon. So we did it. Uh, that was the start of a long journey and we got funding in the South, Af the South African government to develop the technology in 2005, ran a project until 2010 where the original idea was, if anyone remembers it, large area thin film photovoltaics. Uh, based on that we founded our own research institute at the university and also the company PST Sensors in South Africa to develop the temperature sensing technology and the silicon inks that we worked on. We registered the European company in 2002 and both remain more or less dormant until 2015 when we got initial investment into the South African company, left the university, closed down the research center and it looked like everything was going to go fantastically. In 2018, with a partner, we got first funding for an Innovate UK project and we opened up at the CPI premises in County Durham in the UK. Then in 2019, uh, December 2019, something happened in the whole world. You might recognize that little thing in the center. And that basically killed off a lot of things until 2022 <clears throat> and we've basically had to restart everything so how we are now in 2019 PST Sense in South Africa was growing nicely it had 12 employees and uh, we're now back down to three it's the European company had just started up we've got three employees and now we've since Post-COVID, we've now got up to seven employees working on diff two different business models. The South African company is still working on ink development and supply. As I mentioned, the abstract, we're on our fourth generation of ink and we are supplying to the UK company and other companies. And it's still concentrating basically on the print text electronics development, doing proofs of content. And with a former employee who's now moved to another South African university, we're still doing materials physics development as well and looking at what the silicon material can actually do. In the UK, we're concentrating more on using the technology with doing multimodal sensor systems, connecting sensing, mainly with hybrid electronics. So we're combining our sensors with other systems and we're embedding that. And throughout the COVID period, we survived doing collaborative research and development projects funded by the European Union and also by Innovate UK. And we have two different websites. <clears throat> so to go back to the basics, the PST stands for Printed Silicon Technology. And it's the technology that we developed in Cape Town. We take nanostructured silicon, which are basically something like 60 to 100 nanometer size silicon nanoparticles, but they're actually cluster to form nanostructured particles, which are typically of the order of a micron or so. We mix that with binder and solvents to make a vehicle and we turn that into a screen printing ink. A lot of our expertise since the mid 2010s has been on device design and we've designed design to fit device to fit whatever we need. 
We screen print it 